We've spoken about Ichigo's initial substitute Shinigami form and the Shikai form that he acquires after activating his own Shinigami powers when he trains with Urahara. And in this video, we're continuing by discussing the Bankai that Ichigo acquires during the Soul Society arc, when Yuriichi prompts him that he has no chance of defeating Byakuya unless he knows Bankai. Similar to his Shattered Shaft training with Urahara, he has three days to acquire his Bankai, a form that typically requires 10 or more years of training. In this video, we'll be talking about the very dangerous method that was used for Ichigo to acquire his Bankai in such a short amount of time, as well as going over all of the enhancements that he experiences when he activates his Bankai. And lastly, we'll talk about Byakuya's comments that he made about Ichigo's Bankai not being a true Bankai, and what he had meant when he had sensed something very different about it. So definitely stick around to the end of this video as we'll be covering a lot of key information about this false form of Ichigo's Bankai. New Legends will be born as we give a massive thank you to Bloodline Heroes of Lithas for sponsoring this video. Heroes of Lithas is a card-based role-playing game that features an amazing 3D art style that brings the game to life via the easy-to-use controls on your vertically orientated handheld screens. This game features an impressive air system that allows you to collect different champions and companions from a vast fantasy world. You can build the intimacy of characters, enabling you to forge brand new bloodlines through the marry feature, which gives birth to a whole new bloodline. You can merge the orc bloodline with a thunder demigod bloodline to form a powerful new champion. The possibilities are truly endless. You also have the option to turn on sim gameplay, so you don't have to mindlessly grind for things. In order to celebrate the launch of this game, all of you can instantly receive an heir of the dragonborn and demigod lineage. This is one of the strongest merged bloodlines within the game, and you can have it for free. All you have to do is download Download the game now using my link in the description or by scanning the QR code you see on screen. By using my code in the description, you will receive a champion token that will allow you to unlock a random bloodline and $20 worth of other items including 100,000 gold and 100 diamonds. So what are you waiting for? Use my code in the description and forge your own legacy. Ichigo's Bankai Tensa Zangetsu first debuts within chapter 162 of the manga and in episode 58 of the anime. This form of Bankai is very unique and different from any other, because ordinarily a Bankai transformation is larger than life. It either results in the manifestation of a huge creature like Ashisogi Jizo, or upon activation it completely affects all of the surroundings, like head captain Yamamoto's Zankan Otachi. Ichigo's Bankai on the other hand shrinks his oversized Zanbakuto into a Japanese longsword. In addition to this, we learn in chapter 382 that Ichigo's clothing is also a part of his Bankai, and the condition of his clothing is directly related to the amount of strength or level of Reiatsu that he has. His change of clothing results in him having a slender, cooler appearance, with his Bankai coat also having a red lining, as it flares out with ragged ends, very similar to Old Man Zangetsu's clothing. His thinner, easier to carry sword also has a chain hanging off of the handle. Overall, this false form of Ichigo's Tensa Zangetsu is impact and very well designed. We know that the Bankai is the final second command of his Zanpakuto, and in order to attain Bankai, the user must be able to materialize their Zanpakuto spirit and to successfully conquer it, so that it is completely under the command of the Shinigami. Materializing a Zanpakuto spirit is the opposite of being dragged into the Zanpakuto's inner world. Instead, you bring the Zanpakuto spirit into the physical world. Usually, it takes about 10 years to achieve this, and even after attaining Bankai, it takes several decades in order to master it. In chapter 120, we learn that a Zanpakuto's Bankai is usually 5-10 to 10 times more powerful than its Shikai form, and this second final release of a Zanpakuto can only be achieved by a select few Shinigami. Because it is the ultimate form of a Zanpakuto, it is reserved to only those who are the strongest or most talented. Even among the four great noble families of the Soul Society, not everybody was able to attain Bankai. It is said that only one member was capable of Bankai every few generations, and in the individual who was able to achieve Bankai had gone on to leave a lasting impact upon the history of the Soul Society. Now while typically this process takes decades or even a century, Ichigo and Urahara were the only known individuals to attain Bankai via a much quicker but more dangerous method. On the first day of training, Yoriichi explains to Ichigo what a Ten Shintai is. She describes it as a vital spiritual tool of the Onmitsukido. It is used to forcibly materialize the spirit of a Zanpakuto, while the essence of 
of Shikai is to communicate and to synchronize with your Zanbakdo. To attain Bankai, it requires materializing and forcing your Zanbakdo into submission. In order to begin his training, he needs to pierce the tension tie with Zangetsu. Ichigo has three days in order to submit Zangetsu to his will. When Olban Zangetsu appears, he kneels down and places his hand on the ground, as he manifests several different Zanbakdo that appear to look like Zangetsu. Among this field of Zanbakdo, there is only one true Zangetsu blade, and Ichigo needs to find this, and it is only through finding and using this blade will he be able to defeat Zangetsu. This training is very intense and rigorous, and Olman Zangetsu is not holding back. In chapter 128, we see that Ichigo has gone through 18 swords, but none of them appear to be the correct blade. He continues to grab swords that appear to be identical to Zangetsu. Ichigo is stunned, as no matter what blade he pulls out of the ground, it seems to not be the real Zangetsu. He tells Ichigo that all of the blades that are littered across the landscape are all parts of his soul. This whole training exercise is a test for Ichigo to find the piece of his soul that was made for fighting. During this training, Zangetsu emphasizes that he knows very little about his own spirit, and until he has a better grasp of this, he shouldn't even mention the word Bankai. There is no time for Ichigo to rest during this training, as Old Man Zangetsu constantly pushes Ichigo to get back up despite being heavily injured. In chapter 129, Ichigo has gotten through 51 blades. He remains persistent as he continues to try several different blades against his Zanbakdo spread, but to no avail. Yorichi is watching Ichigo's training from a distance, as she observes that Ichigo is gradually getting better. He is holding his stance even after his sword is being broken, and he is able to deflect the attacks of Oman Zangetsu by matching the speed of his blade to that of his opponents. And after this successful block, he was instantly able to go on the offensive. Yorichi states that Ichigo has come a long way, as before his training, he was relying on Zangetsu's strength. But now, during his training, it seems as though he is learning at a frightening pace, and at a frightening level. And from her thoughts, we can see that Urahara had predicted that this would happen. Hence why he was confident with letting Ichigo go to the Soul Society after he had just acquired his Shikai. He was aware that Ichigo is very talented, and if Yorichi is accompanying them, then she would be able to help him to acquire Bankai so that he could finally rescue Rukia. In chapter 130, Yorichi comments that the sword that Ichigo is currently using, he has been able to fight with it for longer than five minutes. This is the point where Ichigo's first day of Bankai training ends. In chapter 132, we have some inner monologue from Yorichi, as she comments that despite the fact that Ichigo is improving very quickly, and he has far surpassed the pace of an average Shinigami. But these improvements only appear to be limited to his combat skills, as his spiritual energy hasn't increased much at all. She questions if Ichigo can truly acquire Bankai within two more days. As she thinks about extending his training, she states that it's more than possible to do so. But when Urahara had devised this method of acquiring Bankai, he had stated that nobody else had done this, and it had taken him three days to achieve Bankai. But he does admit that if he extended extended his training time, then it would have been dangerous. She recalls that Urahara had stated that Ichigo's gifts are greater than his own, so he should have no problem in attaining Bankai within three days. Yorichi is worried that if she extends the training, then Ichigo's soul may not be able to withstand it. During their training in chapter 133, Renji arrives and reveals to Ichigo that Rukia's execution has been brought forward to tomorrow. This adds further pressure upon Ichigo as he has pretty much one day to achieve Bankai. He doesn't want to hear about what would happen if he fails at this task, as he exclaims that he will attain Bankai today. In chapter 137, we see that there are several clones of Olman Zangetsu surrounding Ichigo, as his Zanpakuto spirit tells him that he will not hold back just because time is running out for him. The last time that we see Ichigo training is in chapter 143, where we see him heavily wounded as he kneels before Zangetsu with a broken sword. He questions whether if Ichigo is going to be getting back up again, but Ichigo smiles as he states that he had sworn to save Rukia. He declares that he had swore this upon his soul. In chapter 162, we see that Ichigo was successful in achieving Bankai, and he had made it just in time to stop the execution ceremony of Rukia. It is here where he first demonstrates the results of his training, as we see how powerful he has become when he blocks the Sokyoku with his Zanpakdo, an incredible feat which Soifon even comments upon, as she states that this should be impossible to do. Ichigo's Bankai Tensa Zangetsu specializes in close-ranged melee combat. This false Bankai form also has several special abilities, the first of which is enhanced speed. Ichigo is able to take all of the power and strength of his Bankai and to compress it into a condensed form as he uses this power to then perform high speed combat. His speed in his Bankai form enhances his Shumpo as he is able to create multiple after images of himself because of how fast he is moving. Another feat that he demonstrates is enhanced strength. We see this firsthand when he encounters the Espada Yami.
enemy and he was able to cut through the Espada's skin with ease, as well as being able to successfully block a punch from the Espada. Ichigo also has enhanced spiritual power in his Bankai form. Because of the way that Ichigo uses his Bankai and how he compresses his spiritual energy, his Bankai doesn't end up using as much spiritual power as a typical Bankai, and so it allows him to use Tensa Zangetsu for a longer duration of time. The most notable example of this is after Ichigo's battle with Grimjao, he stays in his Bankai form all the way up until Aizen's defeat. And even if you count his training within the Dangai, he had stayed in his Bankai state for three whole months. Now, one of the key signature improvements that Ichigo has when he is in his Bankai form is his enhanced Getsuka Tensho. The blasts that he generates with this attack now appear to be black with a red outline. Ichigo is also able to control the path of his Getsuka Tensho, as well as adjust the power and speed of it. Ichigo refers to this enhanced form of Getsuka Tensho as Black Getsuga. Now, when Ichigo had first used his Bankai in front of Byakuya, he had stated that it wasn't a true Bankai, as he had sensed something very different about it, and he was in disbelief of the fact that a normal human could have attained Bankai in such a short amount of time. A lot of this is explained through what we learn about Ichigo's character as the story progresses, and how he is far more than just an ordinary human. Even in this form, this Tensa Zangetsu was not Ichigo's true Bankai. It was only a fraction of his power, as we learn that Old Man Zangetsu was holding Ichigo back for the majority of the story. Despite this Bankai having been formed from a fraction of his power, it was still as strong as some of the captains within the Gotei 13. Because a Bankai transformation is such a large spectacle, Byakuya had probably assumed that Ichigo had sealed his Zanbakdo and had tried to refer to it as a Bankai in order to mock the customs of the Soul Society, as he didn't believe that a small Bankai could exist. How could his oversized Shikai blade transform into a smaller blade? A Bankai of this nature is unheard of, and it is understandable why Byakuya was insulted after Ichigo had claimed that this was his Bankai. Unfortunately for Byakuya, Ichigo is just a rare breed, as he is convinced convinced that Ichigo has attained some sort of a Bankai transformation when he witnesses the enhancements in Ichigo's strength and speed. Now I have always been fascinated by the throwaway comments that Urahara makes within the series, and the comments that he makes about Ichigo's gifts being greater than his own is very insightful, and it's a key bit of foreshadowing, as it proves that Urahara had known everything about Ichigo from the very beginning of the series. His prophetic words ended up being true, as Ichigo was able to achieve Bankai within two days, even quicker than Urahara, thus cementing himself as the fastest Shinigami to have attained Bankai to date. Of course, from this point onwards, there is a lot of potential for future growth when it comes to Ichigo's powers and abilities, as what we have discussed today was Ichigo's false Bankai, which was formed only from a fraction of his full power. We only get to see Ichigo's true Bankai right at the end of the series, but until we get to that point, we have several other stages that Ichigo's character goes through, of which include his Hollow Mask, his Bastolode transformation, the improvements that he has after training within the Dangai, his final Getsuka Tensho form, the power that he obtains after learning how to activate his four ring powers, as well as going over his training with Owetsu Nimaya, which results in him manifesting his true Shikai and his true Bankai. So if you want to know more about Ichigo's powers, then check out the various different videos that I've made explaining all of those different forms of Ichigo. For now, I want to hand over the discussion to all of you. What did you think about this early form of Ichigo's Tensa Zangetsu? I know I for one will never forget when I had first seen Ichigo Ichigo's Bankai form on the cover of volume 19. I was really excited to see Ichigo in this slender, much cooler appearance. I'd love to know about your experiences of first seeing this form, so definitely continue the discussion in the comments. And lastly, thank you for making it to the end of this video, and I can't wait to see you in my next Bleach Explained video. If you enjoy my content, then you can support my channel through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, or even through YouTube by becoming a channel member. You will gain access to exclusive channel perks and a Discord server which I frequently use. So become a member of my Zero Division and be the first to know about my upcoming videos. And once again, thank you for sticking around till the end of the video, and whatever you contribute will mean a lot to me.